Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's Maya time again. We're in Maya 2020 and today we're going to model a wooden wagon wheel. Here we go. Okay, everybody, so we're in Maya 2020, and what we're going to do is a wooden wagon wheel, right? So if you want to have this uh, cowboy type uh, wagon, then this is the wheel that goes on it, right? Okay, so we're going to start with the center of the wheel, and for that, we'll start off with a uh, polygon cylinder. And what I want is exactly 36 segments, right? So I'm just going to open up the attribute editor. We're going to go in here and we'll set up the 36 and I'll explain to you in a bit why we want to do that. And then I'll set uh, caps to zero and we'll jump to the top and I'll right click at a face and get rid of those faces. All right. Okay. Next thing we need to do is insert some edge loops. So we're going to go in and we're going to set that to two for now. And I'm going to hit R and I'm going to pull them up. So the spacing in the middle is a bit uh, higher, if you will. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to select one face and then skip two and go all the way around, right? So like this. And there you go. So now that we have these, what we're going to do next is we're going to um, extrude these inward. Right? So extrude, and we're going to pull them in. Not going nuts on that. Let's say something like this. Depending on the size of your cylinder, it might be slightly different, but this is what I'm going to go for. And then we're going to go in here to this view, and we're going to right click and go to vertex, drag select these, and shift drag select these. And we're going to hit R and we're going to scale them in slightly like so, right? We're going to hit uh, insert edge loop again. Let's go back in. We'll set it to multiple and one actually, which will put one smack in the middle right there and one right there. We're going to hit uh, Q on our keyboard. We're going to right click, go to vertex, drag, select these and uh, these. And we're going to hit R and we're going to flare them out. Just a bit like so. All right. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, now then we're going to go up to the top. We're going to right click at the edge, double click this guy, shift, double click this guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to ex extrude that inwards. We're going to tweak the offset. Um, not the offset, sorry. We're going to tweak the thickness. It's going to go inwards like so, yeah. Then we're going to hit a G to repeat, and we're going to hit R to scale in, and we're going to push that in like this, and then we're going to raise that up like so. And I want that to be fairly flat, so we're going to hit four for wireframe mode, and let's see where we're at. And there you go, yeah. And now that we have that, what we're going to do next is we're going to put in a steel, um, what you can call it, cylinder basically, yeah, pipe. So we're going to go to create, we're going to go to polygon primitives, we're going to go to pipe, there we go. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale that in, and we're going to stretch that out. And let's make it fit nicely after frame. And we might want to bump up the subdivision a little bit. Let's do 24. That should be fine. We're going to scale it like so. And then we're going to look at it from this view. And that's all centered. So that's all good. Yeah. And then we're going to do is we're going to bevel those top edges. So we're going to go in here. We're going to get an edge. We don't want the, um, the inside to be beveled. We only want the outside. So we're going to hold on shift. We're going to hit bevel. And let's do uh, one section in there. Actually, I think without is better. Yeah. So yeah, that looks okay. Now let's see what's next. Uh, spokes. 
Now for the spokes, I need to have the outer uh, piece first so I can see how thick they need to be. So that's what I need to start with. This guy is still centered here. And the way we're gonna do that is with a um, another polygon pipe actually. So we're gonna go to create, we're gonna go to polygon primitives and pipe once again. We're gonna jump to the top. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control A. We're gonna go in here. Let's set the um, thickness to 0 0.1 for now. Then the subdivision level to 24, maybe a bit higher than that actually. Let's do 30. And I think 30 is good. Yeah, 30 is good. Well, let's do actually, let's do 40. Okay, we'll do 40, it's fine. Okay, and we're gonna need this guy later on as well because we're gonna use that as a steel band around it. So we're gonna to Control D to duplicate and w, w to move it. So let's go in here. Let's see if we already copied this guy or not. No, we did not. So we're gonna hit uh, Control D to duplicate. We're gonna move it over and I'm gonna hit one to unsmooth. Yeah, there you go. And let's hide this for now. Okay. So we get this guy and what we're gonna do is we're gonna split that up. So that's uh, 40 uh, subdivision. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sections of, um, I would say, five times eight, okay? So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. So we can see what's what. So that's the section we want, all right, from here to there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and grab that section from the top. So let's go in here and do that in face mode. So that would be all of it, yeah. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to Edit Mesh and we're gonna go to Extract. So now if we go in here and we hit W, we should be able to, actually let's go to mesh and uh, separate first. And there you have it. So I can now take this and delete that, okay? Now the idea here is we want to see seams between the wheel sections, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in, and of course this is way too thick, but we'll deal with that later, yeah? What I'm gonna go, do here is I'm gonna right click and go to edge. We're gonna double click here. We're gonna shift double click here. Top as well. There too. Right there and right there, yeah. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bevel and we're gonna go in an object mode and we're gonna scale this way down. That would be about right. After frame, let's have a look. That had an effect on a bevel, of course. So let me just uh, undo that. And what we'll do is we'll go back and put that into proportion first and then bevel. Yep. Yeah. And we're gonna make the fraction a bit smaller. Let's do 0 0.1, maybe 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is fine. Okay, so now that we have that, we are gonna go in here and we're gonna go to this edge only and double click on that one as well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, Control E to extrude. And we're gonna give it a little bit of inward thickness like that, that's all. They're gonna be touching each other, so that's fine. Uh, we just want to have this effect right here. So click on that and shift click on this. And then we're gonna bevel that as well because we wanna see those sections, yeah? Okay. So now that we have that, we can start to copy it over. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna jump to the top. We're gonna to go to modify and center pivot. So if I hit W, it's right there right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the insert key and I'm gonna hold down X and I'm gonna snap that to the center. Yeah, and then hit the insert key again. So our new pivot point is now in the center right there. And what I'm gonna do is hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate. And I'm gonna freehand rotate this until it's basically 
touching like so. And then we're going to hit Shift D, Shift D, and Shift D. And we might need to do some slight adjustments, as you can see here. And it's okay to have tiny, tiny, tiny openings between all of these uh, because we're going to have a steel band around it, right? So that one's fine. We'll adjust that one just a little bit. And it's kind of hard to eyeball, but there you go. That would be pretty close. We'll take this one. And the cool thing is when we make this control bigger, right? So by hitting the plus key, we have more precise control. So that one's fine. And let's work our way that way. So make a tiny gap there. And then we'll take this guy and do the same. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I was going for. So you can see those seams. That's the whole idea. Yeah. Okay. Now the whole wheel is a little bit thin, I would say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these. Let me just uh, bring that size back a little bit. And you can do that size change by hitting the plus or minus key. So we're going to select all that. So let's select that and that. There we go. And give it a little bit more thickness. Just a bit. That'd be about right. And based on that, I might want to make this guy slightly bigger, right? So we're going to go and group this, hit Control G. And we'll very, very slightly make it bigger just to get the proportions right, OK? So now that we have that, what we can do next is we can actually start to make the spokes. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a polygon cube and we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that out and we're going to adjust that size based on the opening that we have there. Yeah. So we're going to push that in and let's see if we got any opening aligned perfectly. So let's just uh, hide these for a second. Not this guy, just these, yeah. Hide those. And let's see if we got any one section aligned. Not perfectly, no, but pretty close. So we'll make it work. All right, so we've got this guy. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna push that in. We're gonna jump to the side view. We're gonna hit R and hit five. And of course we can't see anything now, yeah. But that's our opening. All right, that's looking fine. From a thickness point of view, that looks fine. Okay. And now we can do is we can go back in. I'm going to go to display and show all to get that back. And I'm going to start by just simply extending this guy. So we're going to go into vertex, pull that towards our wheel, like so. And then we're going to start to add edge loops. So enter the edge loop. And let's do uh, one centered. So we'll get one here, one here, one here. And I'll move this out of the way. Actually, let's close it. And that will allow us to, um, let me do two more. That will allow us to manipulate that shape a little bit. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to increase the dimension here just a little bit. Okay, we're going to go to vertex mode. We're going to drag select. We're going to hit R. We're going to slightly raise that up like so. And then we're going to start to bring these down quite a bit, actually. That one as well. That one as well. And then that one as well. And let's tweak that coming from there. And we might even want to do something like this. And then let's have a look at this guy right here. Okay, so that's not bad. And then what we want to do is bevel. So we're going to 
hit Q on the keyboard. We're gonna go in here and take these edges. All right, let's uh, bevel those like so. And then what I need to do is get one perfectly aligned with this guy, right? So we can rotate them around. So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna select this. We're gonna jump to our top view. We're gonna hit F to frame. We're gonna hit four for wireframe mode. And then we can perfectly figure out where that is located by moving the pivot point, okay? So we got this. If we hit W, we'll see that the pivot point's there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the insert key again. And we are going to, um, let's see. We first need to rotate it to align it with one of these and then take it to the center, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the insert key, yeah. We're gonna move it down and we're gonna hold down a V to do so, like that. And now we can hit E and we can rotate it and that has to be pretty precise. So I'm gonna hit the plus key to actually get that precision. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to align this guy. And we're doing that by looking at the uh, the red line that's running here and to get a parallel with that. So that would be pretty accurate. We're gonna take it, we're gonna hit minus to go back in. And then we're gonna hit W and see if we can get that positioned right there. Okay, let's have a look. That's not too bad. And we might want to tweak this guy a little bit. Yeah, I'm not liking that thick piece there. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna hit R, we're gonna bring it in. That's fine, I would say, yep. Yeah. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy these guys over. So we're gonna go to object mode. We're gonna hit insert again. There we go, yep. Yeah. Hit the insert key again. We're gonna control a D to duplicate, E to rotate. And we're gonna move it towards the second one. And we definitely will have to do some adjustments here, but it's just to get them ballpark, yeah. So that's two, shift D, and shift D all the way around. And let's see how much we need to adjust. And I think very, very little. I think it's not bad at all, actually. Okay, so that's actually looking pretty good, yep. Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do next is we need to take that steel uh, band uh, on it. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna push that in. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it to the center. So W to move, and it already has a pivot in the center there. So we just need to hold on X to snap it like so. Hit R, hit R. And scale it out a bit. We want to change that thickness, of course. So we're gonna hit Control A. And actually, I want to change the other dimensions as well. So let me do it this way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna take take these faces. So we're gonna hit R. And as we hit R, it will not only make it thinner. And let's see how thin we need to go. That would be about right, I would say. Yeah, but we want to change the height on the outside. Let's see what the best approach is. So first we're gonna do this. That's kind of the look you would want, maybe slightly more. And I think that's looking fine. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna bevel one side of it. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take this and we're gonna bevel. And let's put in 0 0.3, that should be fine. And let's see if we need to tighten that up a little bit. So we're gonna go into object mode, we're gonna hit R. Let's scale in just a little bit like that. That looks about right. And then let's see if there's anything else we need to do. Um, Yes, uh, well, yes, what I wanna do is a weld, okay? So this would be a steel band, and as a result, we would have a weld. So um, what I think I'll do here, just to uh, not make it too complicated, is we're gonna take this edge, 
Okay, so we're gonna bevel this and we're gonna turn that into a weld and uh, let's set that to 0 0.2, maybe even less, 0 0.1. And let's see, we'll go in here, we'll take that face and we'll select it all the way around. We'll extrude that. Let's do 0 0.05 on that. And then we'll tweak the offset inwards to 0 0.1 and then maybe bring that thickness down 0 0.02 that looks fine yeah so from a distance that looks like a weld and that's the idea well that basically completes our wheel um yeah as always thank you guys for watching uh, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions if you enjoyed the video hit that like button and if you want to see more videos in the future please subscribe right well thanks for watching see you guys next time Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.